The development of mobile apps, greater emphasis on education and a large volume of scientific papers can help a nation rise in the Global Innovation Index. China is ranked 17th this year, up five places from 2017. Those behind the index call it a significant trend. There are strategies in the area of artificial intelligence, advanced manufacturing, robotics, in uh, many of the areas of uh, advanced technology which reflect this policy emphasis on uh, innovation. The Global Innovation Index has been published for the past 11 years. It's co-published by the World Intellectual Property Organization, Cornell University and INSEAD. The index ranks nations using 80 indicators, ranging from intellectual property to education spending. Switzerland remains at the top of the leaderboard for a second year in a row. So what Switzerland does better than most nations is that all the different components are actually at a very high level. So it's not necessarily the case that it is number one in one element that has projected it to the number one position. Despite being the world's largest economy, with major tech giants like Apple based in Silicon Valley, the US slipped two places to sixth this year. It's important to keep in mind that the number of startups uh, created in Silicon Valley is higher uh, on the side of non-US citizens than the side of US citizens. Washington has slapped tariffs on Beijing for the alleged theft of intellectual property. Speaking at the index unveiling at a hotel in Manhattan, Francis Gurry says China has risen as a producer of intellectual property. The panelists here wouldn't comment on the impact of a trade war between the US and China. But if innovation remains key to Beijing's economic policy, they believe China can keep climbing this global index. William Denslow, CGTN, New York.